Hello and welcome to a brand new Unsourced Fall production. We'll be talking about the brand new MCU movie Eternals based on the Jack Kirby comic of the same name. Now if you want to hear my full breakdown of the film and what I liked and didn't like about it, check out the new episode of Comics Code Authority, the comic podcast I host with Mr. Mitchell to you and Rollover Queen because we go into the nitty gritty of the film. The short video I have here is mainly my thoughts on why I think Eternals, a major multi-million dollar franchise MCU film, might be the first MCU film to become a cult classic. Now, what is a cult classic? Well, there's no solid definition, especially since a lot of films like to market themselves as future cult classics, which really dampens the meaning of the term. But in broad strokes, the idea of a cult classic is a film that is either financially or critically a failure at release that ends up getting a fervent or cult following either soon after or in the years to come. The people who like it, liking it a lot despite or because of the flaws. Pretty famous cult films from both sides of that spectrum include movies like Tron or The Room. And now, Eternals? Personally, I've never been a fan of the Eternals property. I think that Jack Kirby was a storytelling genius, but the Eternals was a rare misfire. It's almost always had comics runs that were tedious, dull, and even profane. So my expectations of the film were very low. And yet when I watched it, something really stuck out to me. The sincerity. There's such a sincere and genuine purpose and direction the film has with regards to its mood, its atmosphere, and its world. It's a confident, almost fully composed and coherent vision for a movie. And Chloe Zhao, the film's director, really goes for a lot of things with it. And it's this kind of sincerity that I think makes for the best cult films. Was there any reason why the cyber world in Tron had to be a modern update of Roman Colosseums and Christian gladiatorial fights? With like deep religious allegory? No, hell no! But the creative team behind the film went for it and they went for it with everything they got. The Matrix sequels really need a 10 minute long rave slash orgy scene in order to show how full of life and passion Zion was compared to machines? Absolutely not. But the Wachowskis decided to do it anyway and they milked it for everything it had. That's the level that Eternals is playing with right here. A film that has a clarity about itself and what it wants to be that is right up there with other cult films or at least films that got reevaluated decades down the line for the stuff in them that actually worked and that was actually pretty damn good. Is Eternals perfect? No. This isn't a The Shining or The Thing situation where really amazing, nearly perfect films were oddly denigrated and kind of discarded at the time of their release because there's stuff about it that isn't that good. I had many problems with the story, the characters, and the narrative arc that seemed to crumble into a shocking coherency and tired cliches. But it is a passionate film with a captivating mood and tone. Yet, as with every other cult film, it's a tone that only those who are on the same wavelength and have that preference for in general will truly vibe with. And for those that are into the mood that it's setting out, that it's all but certain that they'll be along for the ride, that anything the film does will be golden. And, you know, that's, that's kind of what we're playing at here. And for those that don't jive with that, well, they'll just not be able to ignore the stuff about the film that doesn't work. And neither is wrong, because being a cult film isn't about quality. It's about being the best film for the people who are looking for exactly what it's trying to do. And that makes it a very variable experience, which is why I believe that 53% on Rotten Tomatoes is a perfect signal of why this is a cult film and why this is going to be, because it's kind of split down the middle. Half people who will think this is terrible and half of the people who think that this is, you know, pretty alright to really great at best. So I'm planting a flag here. I think Eternals might have a shot at being a cult film. Sure, it's rotten now and it's getting a lot of flack, both justified and a bit reachy. But a decade or so from now, I'm expecting a bunch of think pieces about why Eternals was not so bad or why Eternals was better than we thought. And I think that would be deserved too. Because there's just something just so captivating about this film. I still think this movie would have gotten a following and would have had momentum, even if it had nothing to do with the MCU. So fingers crossed either way. If you didn't like the film, if you loved the film, please comment below, let me know what you think, and let me know what you think about its chance of becoming a cult film. Do you think this can be the next Tron, the next Matrix sequels, the next Battle Angel Alita, the next Avatar? Because those are films where there are people who really love them. And it's not because they're the most perfect films that exist, it's because they're films that are perfect for the people who are looking 
for what they're selling. And what they're selling is, well, a sincerity and an ambition and a confidence. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and just please tell me your thoughts. Anyway, hope you have a great one. See you again next time and stay safe out there.